Looking for a little encouragement for the day? Here's Dale his song, Enjoy for the Journey. Hello, everyone. I'm standing in southern Illinois today. We're getting ready in one hour to do a concert, so I need to do this Facebook message and get dressed very quickly to get ready for tonight's concert. But I certainly wanted to come to you again today and share with you from the Word of God, which we've been doing every single Sunday morning. And I want to thank all of you who have been watching and viewing and commenting on these messages. I want to just read one verse. It's found in Ephesians. And the wind's blowing out here, so I need to be pretty careful with this. But in Ephesians chapter 4 and verse 29, it says, Let no corrupt communication proceed out of your mouth. Don't talk about things that are bad and evil, corrupt things. That's what he's saying. But he goes on to say, but that which is the use of edifying. Edifying simply means to build up, that it may minister grace unto the hearers. So we ought not have corrupt communication coming out of our mouths, but rather we ought to edify one another, build one another up, encourage one another. I can't encourage you enough to encourage somebody today. Somebody that may need to hear a word of encouragement. They often say with Christians that sometimes we shoot our own wounded. Why would we do such a thing? We ought to encourage each other. We ought to build. Why would the world want that kind of behavior? They don't. The world wants to see Christians who are willing to build one another up. I was so encouraged when I first got out of Bible college and I was in my, my first church as I was pastoring there. And I went up to the mailbox one day, and I got a letter from my second grade teacher. I loved my second grade teacher as I was going through second grade. But you know what she did? She took the time to sit down and write me a letter and encourage me. Congratulated me from graduating from college. Congratulating me for having the first ministry. And she was just so kind. I will never, ever forget that. Even yesterday, we had a concert yesterday. And we had a couple that drove many, many uh, miles to come and see us. And he said, wow, what you do is so important. And he went on to say, you know, that, that he knew it had to be a calling of God. And when people encourage you like that, you want to do it even more. Encourage your pastor. They used to say, you know what most people have for Sunday dinner? Pastor. They chew him up, spit him out, talk about his sermon. That doesn't help your children, doesn't help your grandchildren. It does nothing for you. I would encourage you to take the Word of God as we just read a moment ago. And don't let corrupt communication out of your mouth, but rather edify other people. Build them up. Encourage them. You'll see what a difference it'll make in their ministry and in their lives and how people will view you and me so differently when we see that we're people of encouragement. Have a great week. Be encouraged. We appreciate you. Go out and encourage someone else. It's going to make a difference in their lives. Perhaps you're with us today, and there's never been a time when you've given your life to Jesus Christ for Him to be the Savior of your life. That means that you have never repented of your sin. You've never accepted Christ into your life. And if you were to die, or if Jesus were to come back right now, you don't know that you're going to be with Him for all eternity. So I can't encourage you enough to make the most important decision that you could ever make in your life. If you've never made that decision for Christ, you can invite him into your life right now. Just simply bow your head and pray. You can use your words, you can use mine. Just tell him, Heavenly Father, I'm a sinner. Thank you for dying on the cross for my sin. Forgive me my sin. Come into my heart and life to save me. If you prayed that prayer, I believe God heard you and he brought you into the family of God. He's going to take you to heaven when this life is over. So let's not only give our lives to Christ to be our Savior, but give him our all in our service, our time, and our talents. I look forward to seeing you again next week, this very same time. God bless you. Did you just accept Christ into your life? If so, we would love to hear from you so we can pray for you. Please email us at info at joyforthejourney.media so we can rejoice and celebrate this life-changing decision that you have made. We would also love to email a link to you with information that will help you start your Christian walk with the Lord. 
Your exciting journey starts today.